Hey guys, and welcome to a special edition of the Technology Geek Podcast. Now, I know I already gave you one awesome show today, but today you're going to get twice for your money today. Okay, because we have on today my wife, the reborn artist of all these dolls I've been showing you on the Technology Geek Twitter and on my Facebook page for the last couple of weeks. And we're going to talk about talk to her for a couple minutes here today. So, and by the way, guys, I told you I'd do more video, and I have been because now we have an awesome, awesome three. I have a 60 gig connection and a three meg up. So we're doing all these cool videos now. So the doll I'm holding in my hand is the Nightcrawler doll that I've been showing you guys about that has still has still has no tail. I don't know why she hasn't given him a tail yet, but he will get a tail eventually. See, now watch this, right? Watch this. Poof, he's gone. He's already, he has to see where he's going. Not poof, it's bam. He's bamfing. You see that? Watch. Bam. Woo. See? He's gone. But he has to see where he's going. So he can't go behind the screen because he can't see that. So we're here. We're talking about some of these dolls. Um, I guess, first of all, I guess, how do you make them? Do we mold them? What do we do with them? I buy the vinyl parts. That's just like you buy any baby doll materials. The trend started with just taking the normal, just boring dolls that you see at toy stores and people would actually take acetone to them and pull off the whole paint layer and do what they call a reborning process. So you give them realistic veining and modeling to make them look like that fleshy tone color. Like this is one of my preemies here. She's very, very, very detailed. She has all her little wrinkles and all that on there. They will see that because it's high def. So. Okay. So she's also got little tiny painted glossy toes. Her hands are very detailed as well. So you can see there. And she's got little veins in the top of her hands too, just to give it that realistic effect. Nightcrawler, I didn't do cr too crazy with the detail because he's usually very, very blue. blue. But he does have a little bit of veining. He does not have hair. But him, I actually took a vinyl kit, like the baby doll legs and arms that you typically see. And I actually sculpt onto the vinyl, so now he has his little three toes, his little chicken feet, and he's got, and yes, he's Batman, apparently, because I didn't have a Nightcrawler one, because they never have Nightcrawler. And he's got the little painted yellow toes, and they're shiny, and he's also got little pointy ears, and he's actually one of the ones I rooted his eyebrows, so he's actually got real fluffy eyebrows. And there was a fairy here, but I guess she's off. Oh, I didn't bring the fairy. <laughs> that's Marlena's doll, because I know Howard watches. <laughs> um, so that's Marlena's doll. We don't have her here with us right this moment, and but we can get her in a minute. Yes. Um, Another cool feature some people add to the little dollies here is people try to treat these like real babies or give them more realistic effects. And of course, I <laughs> And she's actually got a magnetic binky. It's just a real binky. I ripped the nipple thing off. It's a technical term, you know. And I put a really high-powered magnet on there. So now she's got a magnet in her mouth on the inside of her head. And now she's got a bink. So they stay on there pretty good. You have to pretty much pull them off. And she's also got a magnetic in her magnetic piece in her head. So she's got a little bow, too, so she can look cute. So you can accessorize them and stuff like that. And she's got really thin hair because most preemies don't have a lot of hair. But the hair can be very much thicker. And I guess what well, I guess the my listeners obviously are computer stabbing people. I guess you want to see the whole reborning process as they call it. Um, I guess it's serenasnursery.com is the website. Um, we've talked a few times on the show. There's links to it on the my website, thetechnologygeek.org, or just go right to the link itself. Um, but she's got links to all the reborning processes here. So what what now what now do we have here? These obviously this is a lot smaller than something like this, obviously. <laughs> yes, I weigh them too. So they also have weights inside their head to make them flappy. So when you hold them, <laughs> they kind of flop around like a real baby. So with some people, the reborning process is not cheap. It's it's a labor of love. The hair alone in my little one as thin as it is that I just showed you took about five hours <laughs> and now I have a little mini girl here so she's not as labor intensive as the big ones but she's still painted and she has veining as well in her arms 
she's actually got hand rooted eyelashes too. So you can see that. And her hair is a little thicker because I want her a little cute little ballerina girl. And her toenails are also painted and glossed. You can actually see a close up of them so you can see the detail of my little baby girl here of her feet and her hands. And they're all tipped too. Now this is this is something out of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> okay, this is actually, I think, a fairy with wings. He thinks it's a fairy. Okay, flies around. Okay, she has little wings that just bring her cute wings there. Again, she's tipped and glossed and veined and all that stuff. Her hair is very thick. You can see from here. I actually use Angora goat hair to because it's not like thick human hair because it doesn't really look right with babies. So it's a little bit thinner, but it's still very soft. And she's actually got little sculpted ears too to give her that little elfy effect. Her eyelashes are also tipped, or are not tipped, eyelashes are actually rooted. I actually hand plug every hair and every eyelash in their little heads. And now this, this is actually, I believe this is a show, I don't know, is this for sale? I don't even know if it's for sale. I mean, I guess anything's for sale at the right price. Yeah. Um, now, if you guys, all of us were always, you know, we all cried when Sons of Anarchy went up here. Well, this is Jackson's third little illegitimate child <laughs> called Jackson Jr. And, and the reason why he's called Jackson Jr. is because he's got the coolest freaking hair in the world. And if I can find, and I also have a born, yes, I put this on him, born to be wild with the motorcycle, uh, because this is Jackson from Sons of Anarchy, illegitimate son. Okay? And I have adopted him now that he's dead, and I'm going to raise him like my own. Unless somebody buys him for however much he is, and then you can raise him as your own because everything's for sale, even the children. <laughs> okay, so you have that, Jackson. So I guess, why don't you tell, if you, I know if any of you guys have walked around Walmart, you've seen this doll, okay? Because my wife carries it with her everywhere in the local Walmart. But I guess, tell us a little bit about, because he's actually different than all the others, isn't he? Is he not? Yeah, he's a much bigger cat. Uh, his hair, just he's heavy. Me, he's very, very heavy. He's probably close to four or five pounds. He's weighted in his feet and in his hands to, again, give him that lifelike feel. He has real glass eyes. He's actually got little teeth painted in his mouth. You can see he's a doll, he's not a real baby, obviously. And his eyelashes are rooted as well. But his hair took about 16 hours to complete. And it's not the thickest hair, but I also have a lot of hairspray in there that keep that awesome mohawk. Most of the other dolls, too, we don't have here. Yeah, Annie's mm -hmm. another doll we have, too. But. So, I guess what I'll, the, I mean, again, the, these little dolls, um, obviously, the, I mean, now, I guess the question, I guess the question I'd say, everybody's mind is, um, now these dolls can be bought right off the website, obviously, if you want them. Um, they can be custom made. They can be ones that are ready made. Actually, I think, believe this one doesn't have a home because this is actually my, my friend, my best man's uh, wife, Marlena's doll. So this, is, this one's actually sold. Nightcrawler's still available. There's a couple of them still available. Um, so I guess the question is, I guess the, the eye, I mean, so you have to put them together, obviously. Um, I guess you have to put the eyeballs in, the hair goes in, everything goes in with these, right? I mean, they're, they're just plastic kits when you when you get them, I guess, pretty much. You want to just go grab one of my kits out and I can show everybody what they look like? No, they come. Well, just go a, grab one of my kits. Well, it's not a good them. idea to leave your audience. I'll leave your audience. I will be back in a moment. <laughs> This is called being overly prepared for the show. This is called being overly prepared uh, for the show. So she's going to go get a rooting. She's going to go get her doll kits and show you a little more about what it's like. Uh, I'll still work in a tight quarters here, too. So that's um, my off my, my recording studio here is um, not the largest studio in the world, but it has the best equipment. So I'm coming back with the doll kits now. Okay, so who are questioning the reborn process and what starts where when you start the process. This is how I start the process. I get a kit with creepy doll parts. <laughs> this is one. She doesn't have any eyes yet. She's very simple, but pretty much nothing to them. They're just literally they have vinyl and they pop them in the bag and they sell them to you. So, so now, now the kits, though, the kits, just to so everybody knows, the kits aren't like we're not we're not melting vinyl down and molding it in our kitchen. Um, the the kits are actually purchased, 
And uh, when people actually do order custom dolls, um, I believe my wife sends them to a website where they can pick the body style they want because we don't actually, you don't actually make the bodies. No, I can't make the bodies. I mean, if you want to yeah. add aspects to them, like uh, Nightcrawler has the elf ears and the toes and stuff like that. Um, I now that doesn't come as the kit that you added. Yes. that. this isn't. This isn't. This is. This isn't vinyl. This is actually like Let's a Nightcrawler um, card. Yeah, this is actually clay. So he's actually breakable. So he's a little bit more on the fragile he's, side. So he's not something you'd probably buy for a small no, child. No, this then. one, this would be more of a clue. Now, something one. like this, would this be something you could buy for a child? Yes, you can use, he's perfectly fine to now, use for a child. One of these small ones would be probably okay yes. for a child as well. Any of the ones you sculpt onto, they're, I wouldn't recommend buying for a child. But again, his every aspect on him has some kind of sculpture on it. Even his fingers, I made it look like he only has three fingers. So every aspect on him has a breakable component to it. So he's very, very, very detailed. His sculpting alone took about two days, and usually I have a good couple layers because I actually had to paint these in layers to give them that modeled, realistic, flesh tone look. So I guess do you want to explain to everybody how the painting process works and why I'm constantly seeing baby parts in the oven? <laughs> yes. Uh, basically how the process works is – you basically get what they call genus, Genesis heat set paints and you go through and you basically almost get to the point where it's watercolor and you paint layer by layer. You first add a little bit of like pouring to them. They like, they call it baby flash and then you layer onto it. Usually the next step is veining to give them that look. And then you layer on top modeling, which gives you that, like when you look at your hand, you have all those red and, different tones and blues on your hands that's what the basically that's going to do and it takes about four or five different layers to get a nice good texture on these guys to give them that realistic look i've had people when i carry his kit name is rain he calls him jackson um i had people at walmart pretty much stalk my cart trying to look at him to see if he's real or not now, do you explain why his head keeps going around like this? Because his head's like a, it's like a bubble, around, 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 around. It's like a freaking bubble head. Well, when you hold a baby, he doesn't. Right, Nightcrawler is not completely finished yet. He doesn't have any his weight head in doesn't head. move. His head's bobbling all. Yeah, because he doesn't have any weight in his head. I actually put a, a piece in there though that's uh, glass beads to give them weight, and also in their butts and in their hands too to give them that again baby feel. So they're not just like a baby doll. So they're a little more interesting so now there's also been uh, i think a revelation too that now you have apparently my power does have become doll making tools as well now apparently you're drilling the noses out on them for some reason i don't understand why that is but oh uh, she can explain that yes another aspect they add to the realism of, of these dolls is the noses on these this is she's oh, what i didn't okay. she didn't i didn't drill out her nose so her nose just has like the little caps and them that when you would just mold regular vinyl because you can lock the mold when you do that. So a lot of reborn artists will actually go through and drill out the nasal cavity and also use acetone to give them that hollow nose look. And then after the painting process is done, this is what I'm actually working on now. She's a little yawner baby. She's got a little bit of vein. It looks like it's crying that. to me, but apparently it's yawning. Just so She's know. yawning. I'm going to have a crying baby that I'm going to be working on very soon. I started working on her veining stage, and she's actually got a nice little tongue. It's very textured, and she's also got that hollow nasal cavity, which you usually would glue a piece of black felt in the back of it to give it that depth, like it's not a doll. So. Doug, Doug wants to know what kind of hair it is. Is it real human hair? Some reborn artists do use uh, actual real human hair, <laughs> uh, but actually use Angora goat hair. I actually have been ordering a lady from England. She has very nice hair. It's actually rooting better than the stuff I've been buying my materials from. And this is actually Angora goat hair. So that I hand plug every single hair with a little tiny needle and I sit there and plug, plug, plug. <laughs> So now the next question I got is, is it the hair that makes it thicker or the way, you, or is it the hair that makes it thicker? Because that one has really thick hair and this one has thin hair. So they're asking, is the hair what makes it thicker? I think it's not, I think I can answer. I think it's the, I think it's the process she does. It's not the hair. I think I can answer that question. That I know. 
Yeah, it's basically when you root like her hair, you can see it's very thin. You can see her scalp and you can't see scalp on her at all. You actually have to plug each hair very, very much closer together and make sure you try not to get too many hairs in one hole because then it gives that doll, baby, Barbie doll look and okay. it looks horrendous. Okay, guys, the hashtag freaking alive, freakishly alive is, is like the, the, the hashtag, I guess, that my listeners have have made up for this. So, yes, they are freakishly alive looking, okay? But I'm telling you, it's a doll. If this thing stands up and starts walking around here, I am out of here. Ditto. Okay? Because <laughs> I've watched a couple of movies where these where dolls come alive, and it doesn't end so well for the people that are living in that house. Um, so I guess the um, I guess the other question I, I guess that the, I guess the other question I wanted to ask is the um, I mean the outfits. I mean these are these are just regular baby clothes, right? I mean, this isn't yeah, majority of these you can just use normal baby clothes for only the minis because they're actually like ten inch dolls, so they typically wouldn't have preemie clothes this small so i've just been using american girl doll clothing to make them fit the babies but every one of these you can go out and instead of spending twenty dollars on those really kind of cheaply made outfits i mean these are nice for these but you can actually go out and buy real baby clothes and go crazy because <laughs> there's obnoxious amounts of baby clothes i knew somebody was going to bring this up yes mr wayne they do come in black Yes, I actually, I do have a little African-American girl I actually just finished and mailed off to her owner, and she got it for her daughter for her birthday, and she's very happy with her. She had the bankies, she had nice, real thick hair, like my little mini doll here, with little curls, that they, hair curls, actually very nice when you put little curlers in them, and she had the rooted lashes and so on and so forth with the binkies that work with them but yes i definitely do them african americans i can do any custom order if you're interested in a specific dog because i wanted to do a obscure dog that i've seen a lot of reborn dolls out there i've seen harry potter versions i've seen uh interview the vampire there's one lady who does beautiful work i follow her all the time but she's done interview the vampires twilight zombie babies which i've been looking at doing the zombie baby for maybe the halloween season and i love doing those aspects because i want to see something different like these are adorable but i think nightcrawl is just as adorable i guess somebody has a question that um can you can you reborn an actual an actual barbie i i don't i haven't seen her do any of those yet around the house I, I know, I, I know. Well, Michael's been Michael's been doing stuff like that, but I don't think my wife really has. Done, my wife, she probably could, but we. I don't think you've been really been branching off into that just yet. Not the when you re when you have to do a Barbie doll, it's it's all about the painting of the eyes, and you need such dexterity to paint those tiny well, I mean, eyes and stuff. Well, it's, I don't think it's, it's I don't think you couldn't do it, but you just haven't branched. Off I I have that actually. Um, I mean, the other thing is, is too, guys. Just, she's been very. She's trying to get prepped for the. We live obviously in, in the mountains of the Poconos. We're very much a resort area, so I think she's been really prepping um, for the for, for I guess you're, you've been prepping for your busy season, which would be the the summer tourist season around here. Uh, I'm not saying we she couldn't do it. No, not that I want to speak for my wife, but uh, I think that she's been so busy prepping for her her busy season that Oops. she hasn't really had the time. Actually, before I did start these guys. Before I got like ballsy enough to start doing them, I actually did sacrifice one of my daughter's Barbie dolls <laughs> and pulled. It was a Belle doll that was, you know how little girls are with Barbie dolls. It looks like in shambles. So I actually acetoned her face and redid her eyes and eyebrows to make her look more pale, made her lips more voluptuous and more like she. My daughter calls her a vampire because I made her so pale. But it's not something that's totally out of the picture. But little little dolls, they get more attention when you bring these guys out. So, cause they're a little bit, well, obviously you bring him out. He's going to be like, what? <laughs> well, I, I guess, well, I guess the, the main, the main reason, let, let's talk about for a minute why you actually got, got into this, because I think that's the more interesting part. Um, anybody that that's ever watched the shark tank show, they say always the best products come from necessity. So I guess why don't you tell us a little bit about why you actually got, got into this. Um, it's actually is an interesting story. Uh, I guess it, it actually came out of almost necessity, I guess, or aggravation from waste of money. Yeah. My daughter wanted a American Girl doll, and I am an artist. I have been an artist as, as probably from like five years old, winning contests and stuff like that. And 
With, with, not with something like this. No, I was doing coloring contests and drawing contests and things along those lines. My artwork has been fe was featured throughout high school. And when I got to working life, artistry didn't go where I wanted it to. So I was just working the normal jobs. But um, she wanted a boring American Girl doll. And there's nothing to them. They're not fancy. whoop de doo Their eyes open and close when you move their head. whoop de doo And they're... Nothing really special. You're paying almost 160 for a doll that just opens and closes her eyes and you're paying for a name. So I'm like, no, that's not good enough. So I looked into the My Twin one, which is kind of American girly looking, but again, they're again they're not very special. They're like, oh yeah, they can make the hair the color you want, or they color your eyes and so on and so forth. But again, it's $160 and wow, you can add a birthmark to make them look more realistic. So I went to the internet and started searching realistic dolls and that's where the reborn dolls popped up and I ended up buying my daughter her first reborn doll to look like her and it wasn't really thrilling I paid about hundred and eighty dollars for her and the first time I brushed her hair half of it fell out and the paint job was meh and her eyelashes are now falling out too, I just noticed. So I'm like, oh great, I paid $180. My daughter doesn't like to carry her around. She doesn't like her as much. So the next year, my daughter asked her, what do you want for Christmas this year? She's like, I want a brother for her doll, her reborn doll she calls Lily. So we ordered another reborn. I paid close to $300 for him. And he is very cute. The artistry was very nice. I was happy I with the artistry, but he had painted hair because you can actually paint the hair to look at look even more thinner and you know how they have that wet texture look to them when they're babies you can do that with them but I, so that's why the hair wouldn't fall out and i wouldn't have to have that misery of ripping her hair out because it gets so matted because of whatever hair that lady used was horrendous so and then i'm like all right why don't i try to make this i know i'm artistically skilled and my first one I did turned out absolutely wonderful. And Rain is actually one of my old, one of my first versions too. And again, people stop me and stop me in Walmart thinking he's a real baby. And I've actually had my husband's mother-in-law carrying around um, my little preemie here. We, we call her Rosebud. And she was just in a onesie. And a lady actually went up to her and started yelling at her. How dare you have that baby in that outfit in this kind of weather? Because it's very cold. And she literally picked it up like this. It's a doll. And she freaked out. So this is a trend that's not big in America. It's been big in Europe. But it's starting to pick up pace in America now, too. And I'm adding to that, <laughs> essentially. So, I, I mean, I'm mean, I mean, sure my, my, my audience is Googling Reborn right now. Um, I mean, these things obviously go from you know, a couple dollars to a couple grand from what we've seen on the internet. So um, I guess, you know, I mean, I mean, I think your prices are right around the middle with that. Um, when do you charge her from the small ones? The little one, she, the sleeper, she, I'm charging right now for a hundred. Again, she's very detailed. She's got all the lashes and hair. She does have a magnet in her head to put bows on, but she's a little weighted too, to give her a little weight so she can sit nice. For the eyes open, I actually use glass eyes in their eyes to give them that real nice depth look. The acrylic ones aren't as shiny. Well, that, that one's not for sale, but again, another one can be made. Yeah, she would, I would probably charge for like 154 because if the eyes are very taxing to actually get in there and position correctly. Well, you also have the ears, and then too, you also have, you remember, you also have the, the wings on there as well. Yes, if you were sculpting it over the uh, body parts and stuff like that. That's the Lord of the Rings doll. <laughs> Legolas with black hair, uh, but a girl. Oh, good. She committed suicide. She um, lives. <laughs> can't kill an elf. No. Um, so, and then, too, we also have, like I said, we also have Jackson, who is actually a showpiece, but I guess, like I said, anything's really for sale if somebody really wants it. I was asking around at least, like, around 280, depending on the hair thickness, for his size of doll. And for sleeping, one of these probably about 170 to 200 again, depending on thickness and what you want out of the baby. And it all depends on the eyes as well. 
probably Night. Well, he doesn't. Well, Nightcrawler doesn't have any eyes. No, Nightcrawler. He just has the eyelashes, so he's he doesn't have any eyes. So I'd probably do about mm -hmm. two fifty ish for him. No, just to everybody knows too. He's not finished. There's hair and a tail that's gonna go with too. Yes, I'm actually going to attempt to mold a silicone tail, so he will have a little floppy tail. Yeah, I have it all molded. I just I have it all sculpted to mold. I just haven't had the time because I've been working a lot of hours at my number one job. Somebody wants to know, is there going to be a, a Rick's daughter doll? Rick's daughter doll. The baby. Judith? Yeah, is there going to be a Judith doll? Well, Judith is just a baby. I mean, I can make any baby. I mean, I can always get pictures of babies and represent them. Uh, my brother actually had an idea because I am going to do another African American doll for my show pieces, uh, for when I'm doing my craft shows, and he had the idea to make it look like Michonne, and actually have like little dreads and maybe put like a little bandana on her, because I would like to do a more themed one. Like even like this one, I was twinkering, twinkering, tinkering with the idea of actually giving her vampire teeth, because her mouth is very wide open, and I thought that would be cute, but that's all subject to how she turns out in the end. <laughs> Yeah, so that answers that question on Twitter. There will be more theme dolls. Uh, I guess if you want to just get a, a more feel of, of what what goes into the process, uh, it's serenasnursery.com. Um, and what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do for you guys today, okay, if you order at all and you use and you use the use the coupon code TechGeek, okay, we will get okay. It's usually fifteen bucks we charge to ship these things. Okay, we'll give it to you for free shipping today. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Anybody that uses Tech Geek, so even if you see this video a week or so from now, you can use the coupon code Tech Geek. Okay, we're gonna give you okay the shipping. We're gonna knock the shipping way down for you. Okay, it's usually fifteen. We can do it for a little cheaper than that. Okay, and like I said, uh, SerenasNursery.com. I will put the the offer the uh, the offer code as well as the website down at the bottom where you can order. Uh, and and dude, there are there are other ones up there for sale by the way um, that you can order. You really if there if you see something on that you like underneath their store, uh, you can just kind of buy it now and then you will get you know email and then you can pay for it and we can ship it. Uh, if it's custom order, obviously it takes time because they you know she has to build it. Uh, but again, I'll put the notes in. It's serenasnursery.com. Like I said, the coupon code is TechGeek. And uh, like I said, guys, uh, if you're if you're not interested, that's fine. Uh, this might not be everybody's cup of tea, but I appreciate you sharing, liking. You know, you know, you you know, sharing the video, sharing uh, the website, all that stuff, uh, and I appreciate that. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Thank you.